Hello everyone, I'm Chin. You can call me Ken. And this is the Chrono Engine ABS mode tutorial part 3. And today I'm going to teach you some plugin command. And first I'll teach you the hood plugin command. With this, you can hide or you can show the hood. Then it was the equip item and skill plugin command. With this plugin command, it could automatically equip the skill or the item to the actor ID. Then I'll teach you how to use bomb. And when you're using bomb, you also need to interact with the event other than the monster. And here I'll show you two interaction. One, the bomb will interact with the rock, and the others, the sword will interact with the grass. Now let's first look at the plucking command. The two hood. Now let's just look at here. In the beginning of the game, I'll just get something. A sword, a bow, some arrow, and bombs. Then it was the plugging command. With this two plugging command, the hood just right over here. It was item, skill, weapon, and armor. And as for this one, weapon and shield will disappear. Later you'll see inside the game it was at here. And then it was this plugging command. Use will automatically equip the skill. And to use this, you'll need the actor ID. With this one, you'll need the actor ID. This actor ID was according to the database and skill ID. So this one, I will equip the skill ID too, that is a bow to actor ID 1 and as for item just change the skill to item just simply change skill to item then you can use the item and this one is for sword then let's check it out this grass And this is the collision ID. That means when the tool ID 1 interact with this grass. So you use collision ID 1. And then it will show some animations, then erase the event. And the, these three grass are the same. And then it was the rock. It was the same, just this time it will collision with tool ID3. And I'll show you what is tool ID3 later. It was the bomb we are going to use today. And then it will show animations, then erase the event. Now let's take a look at the tool map. This is our tool ID3 and this is a bomb you don't need the movement and now let's look at here this time i am use item and item id3 and this three are used to control the time of the bomb and i think it's it's a little bit hard to control so if you want to make it longer just try it yourself but I think it will take some time to control these three numbers. And then it was the tool range and the area. When the bomb explode, it will affect range 2, I mean 2 block. And the area was a square. So you start from the bomb and count 2 block and then you make it a square and that's the affected area 
and this one damage O that means if you are inside this area your actor will be damaged as well and then as for this one this is another add-on blocking I'm going to tell you today and this is just show the animation and oh, I'll first tell you what is this this means when you place the bomb you can pick it up and throw it again and the distance you throw was 3 and let's check the plugin this is the plugin we are using today pick up and throw and now let's go to our database this is the bomb I create and I make it consumable then remember use the tool ID so it could connect with this tool ID 3 and I set the damage to 10 now let's check it out how this work okay as you can see there used to have four hood in the second part and now the weapon and the armor they are gone and now I talk to this raid crystal and then just look at here when I talk to it and I got the sword and if I use the sword using A then I can cut the grass now let's talk to this yellow crystal and you can see my item has changed then talk to this green one and I'll get my skill now let's take a look with this rock now I can't pass through so I'll need to explode them so I use A and run away bomb explode and now let me show you if I'm close to this bomb then I'll be hurt and if I put the bomb and I can pick it up and throw it away just like this and I think this is the end of this tutorial and that's cool your clip and I hope you like it if you like it Please thumbs up or subscribe and that's see you in the next tutorial.